Welcome back to Arkansas. Home of the most elite program in high school football. The Pulaski Academy Bruins. We're not the fastest. We're not the biggest team. But we work the hardest. And the Pulaski Academy Bruins have done it again. We're seeing history in the making. Our game plan is like a video game. Our coach is a mad scientist. We run formations you've never seen. We always go for it on fourth down. We onside kick every time. And we never, ever punt. We won a state championship last year. We made national news, and now everyone wants a piece of us. Staying on top of the mountain isn't easy. We lost a lot of great players. And the pandemic has made this season extra hard. But we're going to battle through it. The top dynasty in Arkansas football keeps rolling. Because no one, no one is going to take our title from us. This, this is to the house. go in a numerical order down. You win a championship for the rest of the year, music sounds better, food tastes better. I get a tattoo on my arm every year that we win a state championship. Last year was no different. Birds sing a little louder. I mean, just everything's better. We're expected to win and it's such a relief. But now it's time to get ready for the next one. The quarterback situation, don't know how you all feel about this, don't really care. Open competition isn't a word I like to use. But that's what we're having. Competition makes people better. Our two quarterbacks competing will be Charlie Pfizer, he's a junior, and Nolan Bruffett, he's a senior. But we gotta turn that into a championship team somehow. It starts with y'all. Last year was a phenomenal year. You're in a freaking zone, everything you do is magic. Our quarterback, Braden Bratcher, led the country in passing. 20 to 10, touchdown, Braden wow. Bratcher. Big shoes to fill that kid right there, right? Well, we gotta figure out a way to do it. Ruin football 2020. Starts right now. This can't happen. Pass is out there. Oh! Can you get it in the vicinity? He's wide open! No it! I was just kind of nervous. Overthrew his intended receiver. You may put Charlie in! Going into this year, I did start to develop some expectations of the kids. If you're not gonna throw the ball in the vicinity of them, you can't freaking play. Why are you 15 yards back on a six route and there's not a human being past the line of scrimmage? But also have a science background. You shouldn't predetermine outcomes of tests or experiments because then they'll be biased somewhat. This is gonna be my first varsity game, essentially the starting quarterback. So Charlie Pfizer's there now, passes out, there's complete to Cooper White. If you would've hit Cooper, instead of up here where they're having to make circus catches, we'd have had a touchdown down here. Each time we either score or we turn it over, those are the only two options. You would think that the senior that had been in the system a year longer would be the guy to emerge. Nolan is the drop back quarterback. He's a pocket quarterback. He knows the offense as well as any of my quarterbacks in the past. Or might think that Charlie would emerge as a starter because he's more mobile. His legs can buy him time. So Charlie Pfizer in the shotgun. He has the snap looking to the left side. Oh, Charlie, you've got it down here when he breaks. When he breaks, it's got to be up. I'm not going to deal with two quarterbacks that can't throw the ball to our guy. You know, people think, oh, you guys must be one of those schools like IMG Academy that has all these kids that are going to do Division I football. We've got one Division I football kid right now, Joe Hyman. He's, we've one kid with a Division I offer. My goal is to go D1 and then just make it to the NFL. Yeah, he's Joe pretty good. He cold. <laughs> Not pretty, but he's really that'd be an understatement. But Joe is, he's really good. When I practice with Joe, it's like he'll make a one step cut, you know, running back for a touchdown. Going into this year, it's going to be different. Our offensive strategy is usually centered around our quarterbacks, but this year it's more centered around Joe. He's our most talented player. Uh, he's not a big kid, so people will be surprised when they see him play, but, but he's extremely talented, fast, strong, good balance, all those kinds of things. He's spin moving, hitting the hole. He's breaking like three or four tackles. It's just amazing to watch. Yeah, I just like to play fast and physical. But man, his stop starts fantastic. He's the quiet one. If you don't really, if you're not really close to him, he's not really gonna talk as much. But I'm pretty close to him, so he he's funny. You know, just making someone look silly is a good feeling. He has a low voice, so it's like you gotta really listen to what he's saying. We can't rely on Joe to carry the offense every game. Our quarterbacks have got to play better. It's really just that simple. He's gonna throw it out there, but it went sailing in front of him. That's terrible, Nolan. When coaches are criticizing me on the sideline, I don't take it personally, I just have to fix it. You don't work hard to do this crap. Yes, do it again, see what happens. Golly. We 
are you throwing the ball? Ruffin in the shotgun. Passes out there. That was intended for Joe Hyman. It's turnover on downs when they got the ball in a great field position. So you can fold up or you can suck at the freak up. No, God, no, no, I don't know. Nolan, you're going to get him killed. I'm going to be honest, the quarterbacks lob the ball up over the middle. And you look at your quarterback, you're like, why are you throwing the ball up like that? Go, 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 go. Gosh almighty, we suck. I mean, we just freaking suck. You cannot turn the ball over, No, look, look at me. You got to make good play and take care of the ball, son. I don't have expectations anymore. I don't care how many people are guarding me, I'm getting that ball. I knew I was going to go one-on-one -on -one with their linebacker, James Jordan. <laughs> Three on the left, there's the pass, it's complete to Jalen Witcher, and he's going to the house! Jalen Witcher makes a great play. You got lucky, you underthrew it. Good job concentrating on the football. As soon as it came off his foot, I'm like, we've got a chance at this. Hyman's going to direct snap. Rough it, he's going to fall. Liam Dyke in the end zone for a touchdown. Ruins! There's a snap. He's under pressure, he throws it deep, and putting the Senators back on the scoreboard. And that brings us to the end of the first half, with the score, Bruins 20, Senators 21. Y'all got to play the best defense I've ever played, because my quarterbacks are terrible. If you have two quarterbacks, you really don't have one. I'd say it's Nolan. I know he can trust me, and I trust him to make the throw. We've only got 20 freaking points! You had a free touchdown on Cooper's PC. Are you looking at me? You can't throw a rocket, you can't throw out and throw it over his head. He stopped showing your shoulders and you're panic and throw it outside him. We've got to be able to have quarterbacks that throw it to the freaking guy. When you sign up to play quarterback, you signed up to be a real grown freaking man. You have to try harder 100% of the plays. Come out in the second half. Our defense stopped Robinson's offense. I come in and sack me, ended up stopping them again for a turnover on downs. Probably our most talented player is a linebacker, Foodish and Cal was. He weighs 148 pounds. And he's playing with some big guys. And just being that small, playing with those guys, you have to be very, very tough. The toughest on the team is probably Fuda, Fuda Shinkawa. Uh, my name is Fuda Shinkawa, and I play outside linebacker. Probably one of the smallest guys on the team. He's a tireless worker, tireless pursuit, never gives up. If the play's 50 yards away, he's hustling. You're going to get beat around sometimes. You're not going to win, but you got to be able to get back up, and Fuda does that every play. I was born in Japan, and I moved to America when I was three. I remember Japan a lot, and I remember, you know, the first time I came to America. I was a gymnast since as long as I can remember, actually. I think I was like a three or four time state champion. But I mean, technically it's like fifth and sixth grade, so I don't know if that really counts. But I, st I still think it counts. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Defense actually started, you know, putting more pressure on their quarterback. And Fuda, Josiah, they're just knocking them out. They're <laughs> just giving them such, such a hard time. The hardest hitter on the team is Josiah Johnson. I like the current tag. Josiah Johnson. He will knock you out. My name is Josiah Johnson, and I play a strong safety. Yeah, I like Conte. We've made a lot of mistakes. We have to, you know, go over those mistakes and make sure we don't make them again. Somebody make a play on defense. God, we need one of our playmakers to make a play. Charlie Pfizer just floated the ball up, caught the ball, and I toe-dragged my foot, and they caught it for another touchdown. Ah! Jalen Witcher, he's a guy that we can run just a man-to-man -man route with. Jalen, he's become a very good player. Off the field, he's a great, great, great person. Just a good teammate that you want your other kids to be around. <laughs> Last year, we had Jaden Kelly, and he was kind of in the spotlight. Jalen, he's a senior now. I'm thinking that he wants to step it up and take on the role. Been stepping it up in practice. What's up, boy? What's up? In the weight room, and it, he's really coming along. Jalen's a kid that has worked tirelessly. I think he's going to have a great year as well. You Look killed us. You two are killing us.
Robinson came back, they made the score really close. You can't just throw the ball out of bounds! You just cost us freaking 15 freaking yards! And a loss of down! Our defense is just so good. The defense picked it up a little bit. You know, we got a lot of stops, and the offense was able to keep scoring. Which Kelly caught a one-on-one -on -one situation. I released in, and then they caught it for another touchdown. That put the game away. Like, officially, I had 244 yards on 13 catches and five touchdowns and a two-point conversion. That is, the, that, is the best, that is the best game I've ever had. It feels good, first real win of the season. We were able to see what, what we were able to do. I think there was a lot of people talking about how we wouldn't be as good because a lot of people left. We were able to prove to everyone else that we could play. There you go, baby. There you go. After we win a game, I'll do like a backflip. We as a team have a lot of pressure on us. This program expects excellence, and we're not there right now. This season, on to the house. The hits are harder. <laughs> the stakes are higher. Bruins! Buckle up, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. Vibes fam, listen, the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings. If you want to get drippy like your boy, you know you do, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. You know what it is. It's the O-Way or No Way.